In this tutorial, we're going to build a k-nearest neighbors algorithm in Google Sheets. Let's get started. Let's look at the data set that we have. We have the weight and the height of several individuals, and we know the t-shirt size that they use. So some people use small, some people use medium, some people use large. And we have this one individual here at the top, and we want to do our best guess on whether this person should wear a small, medium, or large shirt. To do this, we're going to implement a k-nearest neighbors algorithm. Visually, what this looks like is over here in this chart. We can see the weight of all the individuals and their height, and every dot is a different person. In blue, we have all the individuals that wear small shirts. In green, we have everybody who wears a medium, and in purple, everybody who wears a large. And we have in red this question mark. This is the individual we're trying to figure out whether we should assign them a small, a medium, or a large t-shirt. Let's get started with the k-nearest neighbors algorithm. The way this is going to work is we want to find the Euclidean distance between every individual and the individual in question. We're then going to sort the distances from the smallest to the largest, and we're going to pick the top k people. In our example, we're going to pick the top five people and determine which t-shirt size do most individuals wear, and that's how we're going to make our prediction. So to calculate the Euclidean distance, we want to create an equation. We're going to subtract the weight of any individual against the person we want to make the prediction, and we're going to square that value we're going to add to that the square difference in heights as well. And we're going to square it as well. We're going to make this an absolute reference for the person that we're trying to determine the t-shirt size because we want to drag this equation down and we want to lock this in place. And finally, we want to put the whole expression within a square root. So this is the Euclidean distance between this person and the person in question. If we drag this up, we're going to notice that the distance is zero because the difference in distance between this person and themselves is zero. We're going to copy this all the way down. And now what we want to do is we want to sort this from smallest to largest and pick the top five people. Now, if we manually sort it here, which we can do, we're going to have a challenge that if we later want to grab a different individual and replace the values, we need to manually sort this again. So to avoid that problem, we're going to go here on this side and we're going to use a sort end function. So what the sort end function does is that it's going to sort the whole table. So we're going to start here in cell C3 all the way to the bottom of F. And then the second parameter says, how many individuals do we want to show? What is the number n or the number k? We're going to select this value here that we have of k equal 5. And then it's asking us about a time mode, and we're going to use the default. And then it says, which column do we want to sort? So we want the fourth column. So this is 1, 2, 3, and distance is number 4. So we're going to select that. And we're going to use a true so it sorts it ascending from smallest to largest. So what we can see here is these are the five closest individuals and the distance says from the smallest number to the highest number. And we can see that four out of five wear a small t-shirt, which makes sense. We can see here that there's most blues and, and a green very nearby to the center of the red circle. So we would predict that this individual is going to wear a small t-shirt. Now to make things a little bit more complete, we are going to utilize this table here for small, medium, and large and calculate the percentage of those individuals that fall in each category. To do this, we're going to use a count if function. So basically we want to count everything in this column J that is equal to small. And we want to divide this by this number k, which we're going to make an absolute reference. So we're going to copy this across the board, and we are going to convert this into a percentage. So we can see that 80% wear a small t-shirt and 20% a medium, because it's 4 out of 5. 
Now, if we change the K to, for example, 10, we notice that the numbers change to 50-50. Now, let's look at a few other examples. Let's say we have an individual whose weight is 150 pounds and height is 65 inches. When we do that, we notice that they go into this section. The closest five people are in green, and we can see that five people wear a medium shirt, and that's what we're getting here, 100% medium. And our last example, we have an individual who has 200 pounds and 70 inches. And then what we notice here is that most of the people in this circle wear large with a few exceptions of one medium and one small. And when we see this here, 60% are large, 20% medium, 20% small. Therefore, we would predict this individual to wear a large size t-shirt. If you like this content, you can subscribe for more.